Hi everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial, I will show you how to enable Markdown Editor in the Blazor Rich Text Editor component. Markdown is the lightweight text formatting with the simple syntax, and the Markdown format will apply both keyboard interactions and toolbar action. In this video, I'll cover Markdown commands and show you how to add tables, images, and links, and custom format. First, let me open the existing Blazor WebAssembly app where I've added the SyncFusion Blazor Rich Text Editor component with the bind value property bound to the HTML data. Also, I have customized the toolbar items on RTE. If you want to learn how to get started with the Blazor Rich Text Editor component, check out the video linked in the YouTube card above. You can also find this example by following the link in the provided description below. Let's run the example application. You can see rich text editor rendered with content. Also, you can see the toolbar with items. Here, I'll demonstrate a live preview of markdown changes. For that, I have included the markdig package, which is a high-performance third-party library for parsing and converting plain text into HTML strings. Additionally, I've set up another rich text editor component specifically for preview purposes. So, I've defined another RTE component with the read-only property set to true, making it a read-only viewer. Also, bound the bind value property to the HTML value, which allows it to display the markdown text converted to HTML using the markdig library and pipeline. To handle value changes, I've defined rich text editor events with the value change property and bound it to the onValueChange method. This method checks whether the new value is null and, if not, converts it from markdown to HTML using the markdig library and pipeline. Now, I will show you how to work markdown commands in the Blazor RTE component. To enable this, I set the editor property to bind the markdown using editor mode. See here, let's begin by exploring common markdown commands. To make the text bold, I select the desired sentence and simply click the bold icon. See the double star is automatically added at the beginning and end of the sentence. Also, check the preview to bold the selected sentence. Next, to make the text italic, I select a sentence and simply click the italic icon. You'll notice a single star added. To apply both italics and bold, select the already italicized sentence and click the bold icon, resulting in a triple star. Markdown allows us to create headings of different levels. When I select a sentence and click the paragraph dropdown to choose the heading 1 option, notice that the hashtag appears at the beginning of the sentence. Similarly, if I choose the heading 2 option, you will see two hashtags. The number of hashtags increases according to the heading level chosen. Lastly, let me apply strike through formatting. When I select a sentence and simply click the strike through icon, the tilde symbol is present at the beginning and end of the sentence. If you want to know about additional commands for the Markdown editor, check the documentation link provided in the description below. These markdown commands make text formatting in the Blazor Rich Text Editor component quick and straightforward, enhancing your editing experience. Next, I will show how to add an image, table, and link in the RTE component. To enable these commands, I simply update the tools list with these three options. As you can see, the corresponding icons now appear in the toolbar. First, I click the table icon to insert a table, which allows for structured data presentation. You can customize the table's dimensions as needed. Next I click the link icon and a pop-up window appears, where I can enter both the web address and the display text for the link. After providing this information, I click insert. Now you can see the link in the preview RTE making it easy to integrate hyperlinks into your content. 
Lastly, I click the image icon, and a pop-up window opens, where I can provide a URL for my image and then click Insert. You'll notice the image is now displayed in the Preview RTE, making it easy to incorporate images. Next, I will demonstrate how to custom formatting in the RTE component. The Rich Text Editor provides the flexibility to override default markdown syntax by configuring the list syntax, format syntax, and selection syntax properties. First, I define the Rich Text Editor markdown options tag. Inside this tag, I set the list syntax property, which allows customization of how lists appear in your markdown content. To achieve this, I create a private dictionary list called List Syntax. Within this dictionary, I can tailor the markdown syntax for ordered and unordered lists. For instance, I can set ordered lists to start from 2 and unordered lists to begin with a plus symbol. Once I've defined our customized list syntax, I bind it to the list syntax property. Next, I customize the formatting by adjusting the format syntax property. This property enables us to define the appearance of different markdown formatting elements. I create another private dictionary list called format syntax. Within this dictionary, I specify how the markdown block quote element should be displayed, such as showing a greater than symbol. After fine tuning our formatting syntax in the format syntax dictionary, I bind it to the format syntax property. Lastly, I customize selection by setting the selection syntax property to modify the selected content. I create a private dictionary list named selection syntax. To redefine the markdown syntax for making the text bold using a double underscore and italicizing text using a single underscore. With our customized selection syntax defined in the selection list dictionary, I bind it to the selection syntax property. To show these custom formatting in action, I select a sentence and clicking the order list icon. You'll notice that the ordered list starts from the number 2. Next, select another sentence and click the unordered list icon. You'll observe that the list begins with a plus symbol. Select another sentence and when I click the bold icon, see a double underscore. Select the next sentence and click the italic icon, and you will notice a single underscore. Finally, select another sentence and click the paragraph dropdown. Choose the block quote option, and you will see the greater than symbol appear. In this video, I showed you how to use the Markdown Editor in the Blazor Rich Text Editor component. You also saw how to implement live Markdown previews and various commands like Insert Table, Image, and Link. I also showed you custom formatting in Markdown Syntax. For more information on Rich Text Editor's features, check out the documentation link provided in the video's description. If you want to see the working code of this example, you can download it from the GitHub link in the description below. I've also provided a link where you can see if you qualify for a free community license to use all our Blazor products. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.